Hi, Flappy Catters, quarantine vlog number 10. You wanna say hi? Say hi. I wanna say hi. She took me out in the rain. It's raining here. Wubby, why is it raining? <laughs> He's not a fan of the rain, so we're gonna go inside. But this one is a fan of the rain. Then he's like, wait, why is she following me? Is this a trick? Cheggy. Cheggy. <laughs> Look at him flicking his tail. That's what he does if I just like slightly poke him on his back. He he just flicks his tail. Cheggy, what do you think about this rain? Oh, right. I agree, man. We actually already went outside today once. It is. What time is it? Around 4 5 o'clock right now. And they are both standing next to Scratchy Ramp, which I just released a video about that today, our unboxing video. So that is a new product that we're reviewing. I'll include a link to that below if you wanna check it out. It's pretty sweet. You, um, you can raise it to a different level. That There are two sizes. That's the smaller size. It's made for couch height, but it's obviously made for scratching, but also made for um, taking, uh, so that a cat or a dog can get up to a couch if they are unable to jump, which is great. Chiggy went back out. Let's go find him. Chiggy. Chiggy's, oh, <laughs> did you hear his meow? So funny. He is the funniest cat I've ever had. He just like makes me smile every day. Anyway, it was really, really warm today. Um, I would almost say 80 degrees. And um, and then I mowed my lawn. Wah, wah. Um, and then it st I started to work on floppy cats for a little bit and then it started raining. I love how he always wraps his tail around anything that he um, approaches. How freaking awesome is that? Tiggy, what are you doing? Tiggy, I'm gonna have so much water on my phone. Tay! <laughs> Did you hear him? Tay! Tay! <laughs> I know. So, what do I need to talk about? Um, quarantine cat vlog number 10 question is going to be what kind of cleaners do I use? Somebody asked me what cleaning tips I had advice for with cats. Um, over the years, the more that I've been with my cats, the more I've learned about cleaning and stuff like that, especially now with Corona virus stuff. Um, I really like find the best cleaner to be either vinegar and water, soap and water, or maybe like 10% um, bleach in water. But I hate to even say that because I, I don't even have bleach in my house. I would use 10% bleach um, in a really, really unique situation. Like it wouldn't be, I'll turn the light on here. Um, I can't even think of something right now. Well, okay, if we're talking about coronaviruses, my very first ragdoll cat, his name was Skittles. I got him when I was eight years old. He was a gift to me um, from my mom's parents. And um, he died of FIP, and FIP um, starts with a, a feline version of coronavirus. There's lots of different coronaviruses. We just all are thinking about COVID-19 stuff. <clears throat> so he... When he passed away, um, our vet said at the time they didn't know like how FIP happened and all that kind of stuff. And so our vet told my mom not to get any cats for two years and um, also to clean really well. So in that case, maybe if there was like a new disease or something like that, that might be where I would do the 10% bleach. But what I do now, like tomorrow, or the next day I'm gonna clean our litter robots. Um, I try to clean them about every six months. And I am going to, Let's see what he was gonna do. Oh, there he is. Cause he's a, there he is. What are you doing, there he is? 
I'm gonna use probably soap and water or maybe vinegar and water, but that's it. Um, my cats aren't offended by the smell of vinegar. They're not as offended by the smell of soap or the soaps that I use. Um, so those are fine for me. I guess another situation where I might use bleach would be like if I bought a, I would never do this, so it doesn't even apply really. But um, if I bought a used litter box or like if I found litter robot, a litter robot on Craigslist, um, I would probably wipe that sucker down with a bleach mixture or something like that. But then I would rinse it really well after I wiped it down, like with bleach or something and maybe laid out in the sun. I don't, I don't know what I'd do. Cause I'd also want to make sure that that wouldn't like jack up my warranty with litter robot. So I would do something like that. Um, you know, if it had like other cats germs on it, but soap and water is my number one. Um, and number two is vinegar and water and warm water if I'm cleaning anything. Cat vomit. Um, I don't, my cats haven't peed or pooped where I don't want them to. I'm very fortunate in that regard because I re grew up with a cat who did pee and poop where he wasn't supposed to. Um, but that also had to do with the fact that he had um, some challenges in his litter box situation. My mom wasn't wanting to compromise having another litter box. I'm like, give give me as many litter boxes as are needed for my cats to be happy because I do not ever want to have them peeing on the couch or peeing on my bed. That's where my cat rags, the one that's in the profile photo of all of our social media. He peed on our couches and our beds. Um, he pooped in the middle of our beds. <laughs> when I was in college, my dad said, I'm going to box this cat up and ship him to you. I'm going to kill him. Um, which I would have been happy to receive him or have him in college because I missed him so freaking much. Anyway, Mr. Chiggy in the rain. Um, cat vomit, I use fission. I've done a review on it. I featured it in our favorite cat products videos. Um, so it's a good option um, for cat vomit. I had a cat vomit today actually, and I have to go, I, I picked up all the vomit, but I need to go spray it down with fission. That just gets rid of the, the stain. So hopefully that answers the question that I received about cat vomit, I mean, cat vomit, about um, cleaning products. That's what I do. Can you share in the comments below what you do for cleaning up after your cats? <laughs> Chiggy, you're going to feel like you're getting, <laughs> like it's like getting kind of wet. Chiggy, Chiggy, it's like wet. <laughs> See how it's like laying down because he's wet. Chiggy, 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 you can Chiggy. Chiggy loves his grass. Chiggy loves his grass. Chiggy. Chiggy eats grass every day. He never vomits it up. Um, I know it has minerals and stuff in it that he can't get in his food. I've tried cat grass, doesn't work for us. Um, I know what's going on this grass because I'm the one that takes care of my yard. Um, and that's also more in our backyard where it's fenced in. So nothing can be sprayed from other yards. <clears throat> What it doesn't account for is like bird poop um, and stuff like that. And I did find out about a cat who had a fungus um, or got a weird fungus from bird poop. As we all know, we all can get different diseases from different animals. <laughs> Hello, pandemic. So um, there is always the risk. But he's been doing it for 10 years and it makes him happy and works for me. Our dogs always vomited when they ate grass, but my cats never do. I so, I so, I so. <laughs> Why is he so yummy? 
How come everybody wants to eat you? How come you're so frizzy and so yummy? Look at that little body. Just want to eat hams. Just want to eat hams. All right, guys. I hope you have a good day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.